What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Master Tier Lucario team that also features Swift Swim, Bear Tech, and Drizzle Pelipper. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit, take two seconds out of your day, and click that big red subscribe button. Join the Genius community and help me grow as a content creator. But this team right here was actually sent in by a fan of mine, and he actually informed me that this team was used and created by Poke Sports and his community. So I want to give a huge shout out to Poke Sports and whoever made this team. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to Poke Sports' video on this team. So if you guys want the Poke Pace and all that good stuff, you better go check out their channel and leave a nice little sub over there for the for those guys they work so hard and they make some awesome teams over on that channel so huge shout out to the poke sports community but we can get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only bear tech with swift swim and a clear amulet as item and it's icicle crash liquidation brick break and protect for a phenomenal move set Second Pokemon is going to be Pelipper bear tech's best friend on today's team due to that drizzle ability so it can set the rain it has Rocky Helmet as item, and then it's Rocking Tailwind for Speed Control, Hurricane, which hits 100% of the time in the rain, Ice Wind for more Speed Control, and Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Lucario, and everybody lo loves Lucario, including myself. Such a cool Pokemon, love its design, and I love its uh, its moveset as well. It has Inner Focus as its ability, and the Assault Fest as its item, Rocking Close Combat, Meteor Mash, Bone Rush, and then it has Extreme Speed with a normal Terror type. And if you guys seen Dragonite with normal Terror type, you guys know how much damage that E Speed can actually do. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Raichu. Raichu solid as a fake out setter and at the same time getting some nice damage off. It has Lightning Rod as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, and then it has Fake Out, Thunder, Helping Hand, and Reversal. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Intimidate slash uh, Physical Attacker Sweeper. It is going to be Salamence over here. It has Life Orb as item, Intimidate as its ability like we already mentioned. Then we got Draco Meteor, Hydro Pump, Hurricane, and Protect. I said Physical Attacker because most of them are Physical Attackers, but this one's actually Special Attacking. I just read its moves, and there it is. All Special Attacking on this lovely little Salamence. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus. Can't really go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. Plus, it is really, really good in the Trick Room. It has Regenerator as its ability, the Mental Herb as its item, and the moveset is going to be Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Protect. Guys, if you want to run the scene for yourself, Mental Code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Master Tier Lucario team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, going up against a pretty Trick Roomish team with Belly Drum, Azumarill, Amoongus, King Gambit, Farigraf, who could set the Trick Room, and then he's also rocking the Skelly Dirge and Gargle Knack. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Pelipper and Bear Tick is going to be a solid lead here. They can get some work done all around and just be a great Pokemon. I'm really liking Pelipper and, uh, and Bear Tick. But a Pokemon that I'm going to have to watch out for is going to be that Azumarill. Because if that thing can Belly Drum set up, that could definitely be scary. It could definitely be scary. But I'm going to bring in Bear Tick. I'm going to bring Pelipper. I'm going to bring Lucario here. And then I think last but not least, Amoongus is also going to be very, very solid because of the uh, the trick room because he's obviously going to get a free trick room set up it's it's pretty pretty simple for him to just set up the trick room so i just can go into that i'm all about it let's lock it in let's lock it down let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one but something that i am working on at this moment that should actually be out probably later tonight or e even after this uh, video gets uh, uploaded is memberships to the channel so if you guys do not know what memberships are they're basically like subscriptions on twitch where you guys pay monthly but this time they have like tiers and there's going to be different rewards so for tier one it's going to be the cheapest one per month you get loyalty badges showcase you guys loyalty and it really helps me grow as a content creator second one is going to be more so giving you guys more rewards it is going to be like i'm thinking of doing a members only discord page and i'm also thinking of giving like priority in fan made teams so like every single month i will like guarantee you guys a showcase on the youtube channel for one of your guys's teams so i think they're pretty cool rewards and then there is a third tier which i haven't gotten any rewards to yet so if you guys have any like suggestions let me know in the comment section down below but they're gonna bleed in the king gambit and the frigoriff which isn't too bad i mean i'm thinking of just hurricane here and maybe brick breaking i could terrasalize here because I mean, the steel is definitely scary, and I'm thinking of just and brick breaking into this thing. Get off as much damage as I possibly can, right? Yeah, I'm with it. Let's do it. But yeah, I'm Terrasalizing because he I, I'm an ice type Pokemon. I'm not dealing with that steel shot. Iron head from that uh King Gambit and just getting absolutely ripped on. I'm gonna Terrasalize, I'm gonna throw a brick break into that slot. I could see him protecting here as well, but I'm gonna hope that he doesn't. 
Let's see. Yep, there's protect. Uh, it kind of hurts soul. Definitely really hurts soul. Now he easily sets up this uh this trick room, and he gets first turn priority. But he's not going to go into steel move anyway, which isn't bad. He might he might terrasize or he might swap. But Hurricane could get confusions, which would be huge. We do get the ducks. Make him hit himself. That would be huge. Come on, come on. Hit yourself in confusion, giraffe. Do it. Do it. Giraffe, dude. Come on now. Come on, when can RNG be on my side? God dang giraffe. God dang giraffe. Uh, from here, I'm trying to think. So he could swap, which or he could trash us. I feel like there's two options to it. But a lot of the gambits, they will say they're typing. I mean, he could swap into Skelly Dirge, which I could make a hard read on to. You could definitely have the Skelly Dirge in the back end. Or the Gargle Knack. So I'm going to go into a Liquidation here. I am going to go into a Liquidation here. I'm just going to Hurricane a slot. Just liquidation right into the King Gambit, just in case he wants to swap. But I know he doesn't want to stay in here for, for a fighting move. No, goes to the Kowtow Cleave, which does a ridiculous amount of damage. Wow. Hurts soul. Go ahead, Frigoraph. Hurt yourself in confusion. Just one time. Just one time for me. Bro, for Frigoraph. Again, when can RNG be on my side? I get ducks, but ducks don't do anything unless they hit them, hit themselves with it. All right. So from here... We're obviously going into our boy. We're not playing games. We're going into a Moongus here. We are going into a Moongus. I mean, I could start E speeding, but I have to somehow get rid of this. This Gambit. This Gambit's got to go. So I'm going to go with Moongus. I'm going to spore that slot down. Um, and then it's Hurricane, I guess, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. Hurricane, spore. And just go from there. I mean, he's probably protecting the game. I probably should have swapped at this point. But it's fine. It's fine if you swap the game, but I don't mind too much. I do not mind too much. But this is exactly why I bought a move. This was for trick room purposes. I'm trying to waste it out. They do have a very strong Lucario in the back end. He ends up withdrawing the game. What are you going to go into here? You have an Amoogus of your own. You son of a bitch. I hate this game. I don't like this game anymore. I'm done. This is my last video I'm ever recording. I'm just playing. God dang it. Amoogus is here. He's going to put... Yo, he's going to put my what's called to sleep. I mean, I'm just going to rage powder it. Oh, he does hit himself in confusion. Finally. A little bit of RNG. Hurricane's gonna pop. And I wonder what Pokemon he's gonna go into. Hey, Gambit's here. But we still have Lucario, which I really, really like. I really like having Lucario as a back-end Pokemon. He's gonna have Gargonac, and this one kind of sucks, because we don't have any water moves. We only have Fighting. I mean, he can Iron Defense bulk. Uh, but from here, I'm just gonna Hurricane down this slot. I think I had the Rage Powder, because I can't allow him to put me to sleep. But if he wants to Iron Defense up, I can just clear Smog him. Yeah, I'm just going to Rage Powder. Try to waste out these Trick Room turns. There's no other Pokemon that can set Trick Room. And if we get rid of Moongus, I feel very comfortable with my Lucario coming in that back end. Okay. So not too bad. Not too bad. Just that Gambit's scary, yo. You guys know the power of the King Gambit. It's so strong. It is so strong. And the thing about it was, like, Bisharp was already strong. Like, Bisharp, I loved it in previous games. I thought it was a strong Pokemon. And then just give it evolution with stat boost. Things ridiculous. And better moves. It's insanely strong. And better abilities. I think it's just top tier. But he's going to Trasalize in a straight Ghost. That's not too bad. I don't really mind that. Kind of helps me out a little bit. It allows my Hurricane to hit that thing harder. I'm just going to Rage Pad this slot. Just in case he wants to go into Spores. I can just see him going for salt soul cures. I oh, know he goes for palm puffs. Palm puffs coming out here, getting a crit. We are going to be able to drop a nice little hurricane. He's going to salt cure me. Or doing some damage on me. Kind of annoying. Kind of hate it. But that kind of does me dirty with my what's it called? With my play that I want to make with my boy. With my Lucario. Because now I really don't have a super effective move onto that thing. We go for icy win. We'll go into Hurricane, which I think I'm going to start dealing as much damage as I can over onto him. I could Spore him as well. Oh, I could Spore the Gargle. Hmm. What do I want to do? I feel like I just have to keep getting off damage and Rage Powder in these shots. You know what? I am going to go into Gargle Neck here. And I'm just going to keep Rage Powder. Just for a time beam. He withdraws and Moogus. That's fine. He's going to go into the Gambit. Again, we're trying to waste out these trick room turns. We're trying to waste out these trick room turns. I mean, if we have one more turn in trick room, I mean, we can spore him. I don't mind. Body press coming in hot here. 
We're soaking really well. Hurricane is flying into that slot now, which is pretty solid for us. And we're getting off a decent amount of damage. And we get ducks again. Let's go. Love me some ducks. Love me some ducks. Rain stops. Trick room should be done, right? Or do they have one more turn? I think it's one more turn, Trick room. I think it's one more turn left in, in the rooms full of tricks. And with that being said, I feel like I have to spore, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. No, trick room is... is, is, is okay. Okay. Uh, I definitely want to go for sleep. I'm going to try to land another hurricane. I, I just think that's my play. I mean, let me see what's called speed first. Lucario, what's your speed kind, sir? Speed should be higher than all these guys. 126? Yeah, that's higher than all of them. Okay. But I'm gonna go for Hurricane. I wanna get off as much damage as I can onto this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the sport into the gambit. I get off my hurricane, it lands. Dealing some nice damage on that. Hopefully it hits itself in confusion. Iron head takes me out. Okay. So something I could do here. Hopefully this thing hits itself in confusion, because that means another hurricane can KO. But I can't rely on, on Hurricane actually picking up the KO. So here is going to do some nice damage to me. Uh, I can see him protecting, which is a problem. Definitely is a huge problem. This battle's too close. This battle's way too close. Oh, man. Right? I feel like he has to protect the Gambit this turn. And once, I, once I showcase Lucario. Because we know Gambit has protect. We know Gambit has protect. And I feel like if I just attack... I could attack the Gargonac, try to KO it. And if I KO it... Oh, I don't know if I KO it, though. That's my problem. I feel like we double down to Gargle. I think we double down to Gargle. And we don't change our typing. We still have Terrasize, don't we? I know we used it. Who did I use it on? Who did I use it on? I used it on my bear. Too. I used it on my bear. Too. Okay. But yeah, I'm just going to Meteor Mash this slot. I feel like Gamma has to protect. Yeah. Great read by us. That's a huge read. Game changing read. Can we land this Hurricane on this thing? Or can this just KO? Can we land this hurricane, please? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Pelipper, I love you. I love you, Pelipper. Big time lands from, from our Pelipper. Takes out him. He just has a Moongus left. And now here's the problem. Here's the big time problem. Is I don't know if my Lucario can eat up a shot from... Probably not, because it's probably Rocket Sucker Punch as well. It's probably Rocket Sucker Punch as well. This could be bad. This could be bad. Because obviously, like, Rage Powder should come in here. And, oh, it has Regenerator. Its HP goes up through the roof. That's tough news. Close Combat's not going to do anything that Meteor Mash is probably your best bet. Because he's obviously going for the Rage Powder. It's 100% the Rage Powder. I mean, the only way we win this one, I feel like, is, like, he does not Rage Powder. And we get off this Close Combat. Right? That would be the only way. But we know he's going for the Rage Powder. So, we're going to go for the Close Combat and hope that that's happening. Yeah, Rage Powder's there. Simple play for them. Opponent's going to take match number one. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Wow, Meteor Mash probably would have picked up the KO. Meteor Mash might have picked up the KO. But then he would have he just hit me here and then sucker punched me. It's pretty simple. But we're dead here. That's going to be GG's. Not very effective. Nah, we would have we lost one. Because again, he would have hit me here and then just sucker punched for the win. It's simple plays. It's simple plays. It's simple plays. Yep, Rage Powder comes out here again. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to take out the Moongus, but this battle comes down to one turn and one turn only. Not a bad first match. We're starting off L1. Let's hop into a second battle. And you guys know to deal with that one. Look for a first win. But yeah, I'm going to actually die to Rocky Helmet. The joke's on you, King Gambit. You're not picking up the final KO. Your lovely little Moongus is. But GG's L1 to get us started. Second battle coming at you guys. That first battle was definitely very close, but we ended up losing it. All good. We're looking to grab ourselves a first win in match number two. Going up against a pretty cool team. They got Kilowattrel, they got Glaceon and Obama Snow for the snow combo, and then they got Slow King, who can definitely pop Trick Room, and then they got, what is it, Garchomp, and what's that Pokemon's name? Mudsdale. The little horsey. The little horsey. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? Uh, Raichu's not too bad. I mean, we have Lightning Rod with that, which could definitely help us out, especially with like our Pelipper and our Bear Tick. But I think going would go Raichu and Lucario, or even Raichu and Salamence would not be bad. So, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Raichu and Salamence. I'm going to bring in Lucario in the back end. And I don't know if I go Pelipper, or do I go Bear Tick? I mean, Pelipper's going to be nice because of, uh, like, weather control. But I feel like just the ice weather isn't anything crazy that we have to, like, worry about. 
But Bear Tick's just solid. I mean, Bear Tick has the ice moves. It has the water moves. I'm kind of all on the Bear Tick side. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Bear Tick here. We're rocking out Bear Tick. And then if he wants to set the hail, Bear Tick's just going to... Or the snow in this case, because it's snow now. They want to set the snow. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Bear Tick can chill in there. He can get a little bit of defensive boost with it. But I think you can get like a 10% defense boost now. Which is actually really solid. I'm all, I'm all with it. I'm all with it. I'm all with ice types being better in this game. Because obviously ice is it's the worst typing in the game. It actually might have gotten a little boost, but it's it's not as good. Or it's a little bit better than what it used to be. I'm going to get off a really solid Intimidate here. I, I, actually, no, I'm not going to. Because this thing is competitive. But I'll take an Intimidate on that thing. I am going to fake out you, right? And I might just Terrasalize you. Do I drop a Draco Meteor or do I get off some damage on this thing? I feel like Garchomp might have to protect here. Or even swap. I wish I had like Dragon Claw at this point. But, you know, I'm going to Terrasalize. I am going to go straight into this Pokemon. And we're going to roll off from there. He's going to withdraw the Garchomp. That's not bad. I don't mind that turn. And the reason I am Terrasalizing is because I do not want to get hit by a strong air move. He's going to make it snow. He's going to make it snow, and I'm going to Terrasalize. Kind of wish I had my Pelipper now, <laughs> because of one reason to one reason only. It's because I have Hurricane on this uh, Salamence, and I did not even realize that. And Hurricane would have been so deadly with Salamence in the, in the, in the rain. I'm going to Terrasalize here. I'm going to fake out the Kilowattrel for a little bit of damage. Can I land this pump? Can I land this pump, please? Nice, nice, nice. We land a nice little pump here. Getting off some big-time damage. Uh... I mean, reversal? Can go for a reversal? Can that do any damage, that thing? I don't really know. Can reversal do anything to you? I mean, Kilowatt will definitely outspeeds. I think it fails in that case. Should I swap this thing into, like, Lucario? I think I'm going to swap to Lucario. And I kind of want to try land a, land a Hurricane here. I can always e-speed that Kilowatcher whenever I want. I'm going to try to land Hurricane here. Show me my play. I'm going to swap the Raichu. I'm going to save the Fake Alpha later. I am going to save the Fake Alpha later. I should have went for a Hurricane into the Kilowatcher slot. That's not a bad turn from us. Nice little swap. We have e-speed to take that out. So Kilowatcher is really not doing too much here. Aurora Bell. Ooh, Aurora Bell is going to get set up. Love your little Aurora Bell. I do have Bear Tick, which I kind of want to get out here. Just so I can Brick Brick that. Hurricane is going to miss. Kind of hurts the soul. Like Salamence has like no value here. But obviously E Speed's gonna fly here. I kinda want do I save the Salamence? And bring out the Bear Tick? So like a brick break? I feel like that's gotta be a play. We gotta brick break it. We gotta break the bricks. I'm gonna save my Salamence. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. He withdraws that. Okay, that's fine. I'm withdrawing too. So this is a really good turn from us. Really, really solid turn from us. Who are you gonna bring out? Garchomp again? That's fine. I have my Salamence back for Intimidates later. I'm going to be able to E-Speed, take out the Kilowattrel, bring out my Brick Break Bear Tick, just so I can Brick Break this thing and take it out. And, hmm, that's actually really scary. Oh, wow, you're doing that. This is really scary. And the reason it is really scary is because he can Terrasalize an EQ here and rip into me. Is either a double swap? Definitely want to swap somebody into Salamence. Wow, this sucks, man. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Um, do I double swap? I might have to double swap. I just might have to double swap here. I'm just going to swap into Salamence. I'm going to treat competitive. It's fine. It's fine with the ECB going. I have to swap the Bear Tech. So he swaps. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Who are you going to go into? Wow, this is a great battle. <laughs> this is a great battle. You're going to go into Glaceon. I swear, if Snow Cloak allows this thing to dodge my move, Gene's going to hurt. It's going to be hurting. It's going to be hurting. So I'm going to swap back into Salamence. Have the ice going. I'm going to get off Intimidate, which is great. When Intimidate comes out here, I feel like Lucario still dies to EQ. East Speed's going to fly here. Doing a little bit of damage. And Rock Side's going to come out here. Salamence dodged it. You should be able to eat that up, Lucario. That's not bad. That's not bad. And from here, I'm going to go for a Meteor Mash. Yeah, should I Meteor Mash or should I Close Combat? 
mean, Meteor Mash is, will do just fine, right? I'm gonna Meteor Mash. I think now's the time to pop a Jerka Meteor. I think now's the time to pop a Jerka Meteor. He withdraws you. Who are you going into? Anybody but Kilowatt will. Actually, who are you going into? Because I'm popping a Jerka Meteor in a slot. You going to bomb us now? Okay. I mean, I feel like I swapped the, uh, what's called this next turn. The Salamence. Like Salamence can just be solid later. He's gonna end up Thrasilize and going into a water type. Alright. That one's slowly going out. And I feel like he had a free shot on me to EQ. Blizzard coming in hot here. We're able to soak no freezes, right? Cool, Jerka Meteor's flying. And off a great amount of damage. I really like that damage. And I'm gonna swap Salamence next turn and get out Raichu. Need to mash coming in hot. Great damage. Not very effective. The damage I was crit. I was gonna say. Let me get that attack boost. That's a lovely attack boost. The snow stops. Tailwind's gone as well. This is time we get out Raichu and swap our Salamence. And I feel like we close combat and we get rid of Glaceon, correct? Yeah, I think this is our play. We'll save Bear Tick. I'll save Bear Tick all day. I'll save Bear Tick all day. But Garchomp is a problem. So I need Salamence for Garchomp. Garchomp is a problem. It's super effective up against the other three Pokemon. <laughs> but he's a problem. He's going to withdraw. And are you going into Garchomp again? That'd be great. That'd be great. I just keep swapping in my Salamence. Yeah, Garchomp's back here. Protect coming out from Glaceon. Okay. Protect's out here from Glaceon. I'm going to go for a Thunder. Um, I feel like Garchomp has to protect, right? Roarbell's gone too. Woo! So we got rid of a Roarbell. Do I do here? That's a real question. What's your speed, Lucario? It's like 120 something, isn't it? 126. You're not faster than the Garchomp. I say we close combat and we just swap. I'm gonna look to get rid of this Glaceon here. I'm gonna think that the that the uh, Garchomp can protect here. Gotta be my play. The Garchomp needs to go. Needs to go. Is he gonna Terrasize EQ? That could be a problem. No, he withdraws. That's fine. That's why I withdraw instead of going for a fake out. But I know Lucario should outspeed the Glaceon. He's gonna want to set the, the hail again. Oh no, you're not. That's fine. In close combat. Oh no. Wait, what is going on? What is going on? You're going into Bomb Snow? Okay, Bomb Snow's dead. If we take out a bomb snow, I can e speed that kilowatt roll next turn. Like, this is just absurd swap and swap outs, but this is a great battle. Close combat gets rid of you. Awesome. Dope. See you later. So, we get rid of you. I have e speed to finish off the kilowatt roll. My one problem is that guard jump. I'm hoping he brings back out guard jump. I need him to bring back out the guard jump. So, just so I can throw a Draco Meteor right into its face. Bring it back out, please and thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So from here, I'm just gonna e speed. We're not bone rush. I want to e speed, and I I I, I want to drop a Draco meter right into this thing's mitt. That, that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Oh wow, EQ can actually still hit me. I just realized like it, we get the stab type in, but we're not flying anymore. Is he going for an EQ? That could be scary. He is. That that is terrifying. That's gonna KO me. Can you somehow eat this up, Salamence? That's double KO, isn't it? Yeah, that hurts. I kept saying it all game. Well, that's so stupid that we're not flying anymore. <laughs> we don't have that at, at all. Okay. They are sitting here. He sells Glaceon, he sells Garchomp. I have these two. These two are not bad. These two are not bad. These two are not bad. I mean, I have a defense boost. I can fake out the Chomp, but Chomp's obviously going to protect. Uh, what do I do? I'm going to fake out this slot here. I might as well just go for the Icicle Crash. Even though he's, he's going to protect her swap. He is going to protect her swap. Man, I wish I had Pelper here. Pelper would have helped out this team so much. I'm going to withdraw. That's fine. Get off a little bit of chip damage onto Glaceon. I'm going to hope he doesn't... Like the, oh no, he did use his Strasilization. Wow, I could have faked out the Garchomp there. 
Where's guard chomp going from? I could have just faked out the guard chomp. Can you eat that up, Bear Tech? Bear Tech does. Okay. We got a match here. You just took out your Glaceon. We have a match. We have a shot here. We have a shot. We have a very good shot. You're dead. You are dead. We're dead. Hold up. Wait a minute. Killer Watch was on a little bit of HP. Uh. I mean, I, I have reversal. I can go for a uh, reversal to KO. I mean, I think we win this match. Unless he has a double hitting move, but I don't see him having a double hitting move. Wow, this match was all over the place. This match was all over the place. But yeah, obviously, I want to go for a reversal to accuracies 100%. I'm going to do that, and I want to go for a higher accuracy move, such as liquidation here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. No double hitting moves from you, Kilowattro? You're going to go for a Thunderbolt. I got Lightning Rod. You blew it. You blew your one and only chance. Phew. I thought we were losing that battle for sure. I really did. But, yo, your boy stayed in there. Ended up bringing out Raichu and Bear Tick in the back end. Clutching up. Now we're sitting one and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. What a second match. Grab yourselves our first win. But we're looking for that winning record for today's video. Going up against a really cool team. They got Skelly Dirge, Enemy Oscarada, and then they got Grim Snarl, Gardevoir, which is usually a choice Scarf Gardevoir. And then they got Garchomp and King Game. It's a very strong Pokemon. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I'm liking Bear Tick and Pelipper just to get the rain started and kind of get after the battle that way. Considering he does have Grim Snarl. If he wants to set up screens, I can just break, break through and break them off. So I'm all about that. I'm going to go them too. And then I'm thinking of just straight up Lucario Salamence, right? Can't go wrong with it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. Actually, let's look to grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. But one thing I would change about the team is give Pelper a water move. Let this thing hit. Let this thing be. Because Hurricane's nice, but I feel like there were so many situations where I could use Pelper with a water move. But our opponent's going to end up leading to Gardevoir and the Skelly Skelly. So Gardevoir and Skelly Skelly, uh, I could make the hard read and just go straight into like an Ice Hook Crash into that slot, which wouldn't be bad at all. Or a Hurricane. Ice Hook Crash would not be bad with that thing. Hmm. What do I want to do here? The problem is Ice Hook Crash, I have an odd feeling it would miss. But I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to go straight Ice Hook Crash into this thing. I'm going to say this thing Thrasslash is correct. Straight in the grass. It's got a tear in the grass. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna throw. Do I tailwind set up for the rest of the team? Yeah, they got some rather fast Pokemon. I'm gonna tailwind set up for the rest of the team. Let's see what he ends up doing. There's the Terra. There's the Terra. Reading these grass Terras all day. It's easy. It's light work. Just another day. It's not grass. It's fairy. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> other is it something other than fire. It's fairy. That's pretty cool. I get down with that. I still crash. Still gonna do a nice chunk. Has a chance to flinch too. It does indeed have a chance to flinch. We're gonna set up the tailwind for the rest of the squad. Let's go into, into a thunderbolt. Oh yeah, see you later, Palper. You going? You're not. You're not. You're not eating that all at all. Not even close. Not even close. Skelly Dirge does get the flinch. We do get the flinch on that, which I really, really like. It is leftovers. Uh and I can bring out Lucario here. I think Lucario's obviously 100% the best here. So yeah, Lucario is going to be that Pokemon. I can Meteor Mash freely into whichever slot I want to. And the question is, who do I go into? Probably Skelly Dirge, right? I'd rather get after Skelly Dirge, and I might swap Typings, but I don't really want to. I'm just going to go into a Liquidation in the slot. Liquidation, Meteor Mash. Let's do it. Skelly Dirge protects you, little biscuit. How dare you? How dare you? Liquidation going to fly. Build a build. Get off some lovely damage. And Meteor Mash is going to get blocked. Should have went after Gardevoir. Should have reversed rolls there. Well, let's see what Gardevoir's going to do. Is it stuck in Thunderbolt? No, it's going to Gleam. I don't mind a Gleam. I don't mind a Gleam because I, I can still just Meteor Mash and Liquidation and finish off these Pokemon. Simple. Simple plays. Simple plays. Simple plays. Are you going to swap to Skelly? I feel like Skelly might get a swap, but it's all good. I feel like the Steel Shot can be solid. Unless he throws in uh, Gambit. But at that point, I still outspeed the Gambit. No, he doesn't. He doesn't change. So this is going to be double KO. Bardivore, get on out of here. Lucario, rip it up. Lucario is going to Meteor Mash. And I am going to get an Attack Boost. I think every time you use Meteor Mash, it gives you an Attack Boost, right? Which is amazing. And I get a crit on top of that. You were dead anyway. I do not want to hear Jeans got lucky on RNG. <laughs> but we take out the Skelly. 
I should get an attack boost, right? I guess I, I guess it's not every time. It's not every time. Okay. But now Garchomp comes into play. I mean, free Ice Crash, right? Oh, and you can't change typings. Unless Sucker Punch is gonna kill me, but I don't know. We go here. We go combat. Let's run it. Let's run it. I still have Salmons in the back with Terrestrialization. Could be alright. He protects the Gambit. Probably going for an EQ, right? But I mean, Bear Tick has speeds. GG. See you later. <laughs> see you later. Swift Swim Bear Tick. Lighten it up. Absolutely lighten it up. That's going to be GG's. Light work in battle number three. Really quick battle. It's over with. It's over with. Because I don't see a Sucker Punch KO in my uh, Lucario. I really don't see it happening. Not even remotely close. Not even remotely close. And I guess I'll just go Brick Break. Yeah, Brick Break will be double damage, so we're just going to go Brick Break. We're going to close combat. It's light work. Battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1, and one, a lovely winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 and one, and another winning record for this channel. We had Pelipper. We had Bear Tick rocking out with the Swiss Swim, doing absolute work. You had Lucario and Salamence that did a lot of the heavy lifting and a lot of the heavy damage. Then you had Raichu and Amoongus in the back end for more so support Pokemon and, and helping this team kind of gel out and grab some wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.